Alright guys, we got some we got a spicy topic to talk about today, man. Freaking hell. GTA 6 leaks. Yes. <laughs> Oof. The internet yep. is on fire right now, guys. I can't believe it, man. Uh, Finally, we got some gameplay. We got some actual gameplay. Uh, this is freaking sick. This is lit. Not only the but, leaks are out, but the lawyers are out too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the Rockstar, gameplay. Rockstar is, keeps a close freaking tight lid on everything. Now the lawyers from Take Two are literally just full steam ahead, just taking down everything all over the place. All these videos, there's literally there's an hour of gameplay footage online that's been taken down like four times now, I think. It, it was on Reddit first, yeah. then it moved to YouTube. Shout out to, uh, I think it was Bandon on YouTube posting that gameplay footage. Uh, so that's sick. Obviously, I got to preface this though by saying um, we fully support the developers at Rockstar. I know this is a, a lot of work went into this and I know, I know it's, it is a damn shame also that this got leaked. So, you know, I know there's re negative repercussions about this as well for developers, especially like, you know, you wanted it, you wanted this to be kind of, you know, close net wanted to be a surprise. Obviously, like the there's probably more expectations on you now that it's been leaked and all that. But honestly, if you guys are listening to this, everyone loves it. Everyone, the majority is majority consensus on this is positive, so don't worry about yeah. that. You know, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever, cor think... whatever corporate is deciding, don't worry about that. You guys are doing a great job with this game, it's, it's freaking awesome. So, yeah, but just don't be surprised if there is a, a minority of people that are like judging the whole game based off this like alpha build alone. That's mm -hmm. obviously the stupid minority, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was gonna say that, like, you know, people for the people who are just already judging the game. From what you see in the pre-build like it's a pre-build guys come on mm -hmm. yeah. it's not the final product you know yeah but, Jesus it, Christ. It, but it's good but i mean i won't say it's not good but or it's good but at least we get to speculate what's what's probably going to be in the game yeah uh so far based on like was it two-year build now i but think what, what, okay so so what what i've heard through the grapevine is that the builds was like 2019 ish so that would be that would put it in, in the range of like three years i think for, for an alpha that's for a pre-alpha that is a freaking good that as a good looking game man that could easily pass as a yeah. as an next gta easily like yeah yeah the gameplay is out there if you want to look for it uh obviously we're not going to link it because we don't want to be freaking lynched by the take two mob right so yeah <laughs> the lawyers are right behind my door right there so yeah. they're they're listening so if you guys are listening lawyers we're we're not we're not going to show any gameplay we're just going to talk about it yeah it's already been leaked so like it's not nothing new they'll come know, after really. us basically because we're just talking yeah. about what's what everyone's already talking about right basically yeah, everyone yeah. saw it, you know, or at least a lot of people saw it, but we're not gonna leak. We're not gonna show any images because I know how you guys are. So yeah, that's that's all, all right. I gotta say. All right, I've been taking freaking sniper shots here as well. I get it, man. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> all right, let's let's jump right into this freaking heat, man. All right, so first things up, two protagonists. It's been revealed. It's been revealed. Mm. There's there's two protagonists, Jason and Lucia. Th those are the, the name the names actual names. Jason and Lucia. Yeah. So mm. we speculated, if you guys watched the previous video, that there's a Bonnie and Clyde kind of style here. That is apparent. That is apparent. There's actually a uh, a game. There's gameplay footage where there's a scene where you're actually robbing a diner. Shout out to Pulp Fiction, though, man, because I got a lot of Pulp Fiction vibes from that. But literally, yeah, it's the two of them working together. It's like you can play as either or, and you can switch between either or too in real time. So they were doing the robbery. They're basically doing the robbery, and uh, you you were playing as Lucia, the Hispanic girl. So the uh, this, the Jason is the uh, basically a white guy, kind of like a kind of like a chiller version of Trevor, I would say. Because, mm. you know, Trevor's kind of like a psycho redneck, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we know Tra Trevor's a psycho redneck. Jason is like a toned-down version of Trevor, pretty much. A more chill version of Trevor. He's got a backwards cap, got a wife beer, and, and cargo shorts. Lucia's a Hispanic chick, kind of like a Femi Fatale, a badass. She's got charisma, and she's assertive, basically. Cause she's like, oh, you know, put your hands in the air and all that kind of stuff, you know, being called, like, hardcore and all that stuff, right? She's yeah, like, yeah. she got like a pink, uh, pink top on with uh, camouflage like uh, sweats, but yeah, mm. two badasses, definitely. Yeah, I, I like I like the character designs to be honest. So mm. basically, uh, they're doing the bank robbery. There's a lot of stuff that was revealed during that during that actual robbery itself. Just that small piece of footage there as well is it's very indicative of the kind of mechanics that are in the game. For example, what I saw is let's just talk about the the Bonnie and Clyde stuff first, first though, right? So yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they're in close proximity with each other. Uh, you're playing as Lucia. She's robbing the diner, basically, and you've got an AI follower in uh, Jason. So he's 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 with you doing the mission. So what what I've the, my takeaway from this is basically that the both the stories of the two are highly interconnected. Wherever you go, she goes. Wherever she goes, you go. Kind of that kind of deal. Not all the time, but mostly for missions. It's like a, mm. a duet. So like the, these missions are carried out in like a cooperative like kind of duet. Like you, you know how you play Skyrim with followers, right? That you, that follow you. 
the AI follows you. It's basically yeah, like yeah. that. It's basically like that. And you can switch between them in real time. It's it's almost instantaneous. It's not like like one like half a second. It's like it takes probably about one second. So far as we're launching, the only thing I'm wondering is, is there gonna be a third character similar to GTA five? I think it is. Do you think so? I think it is, because I saw gameplay footage of a black guy with dreadlocks. Mm. And you and it's and it's basically, you know, like a typical protagonist fashion. You're over the shoulder playing as him. I thought mm. it was like, is this a kind of GTA online character that you kind of, you know, customize and you can play? But no. There was quite a bit of footage of him. Some some of it was funny, you know, because like the <laughs> the ragdoll physics were kind of like messed up. They were like testing that kind of stuff. Ivan, you remember yeah, seeing yeah. that? <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I think it's the third character. It, re it reminds me of um, the character from GTA 4. Who was it that, was it um, Little John? Like, the, kind of like a Jamaican guy, right? What was his name? It wasn't Little John, was it? G GTA 4? Yeah. It's been such a long remember time. He had, so remember I he was like remember. Jamaican, he had, he had glasses on? I think Com so, yeah, yeah. What was his name? Like, Little I, I have no clue. I can't remember his name. I, I, I can look it up if you want. <laughs> yeah. Brian, what's your take on that? Yeah, the Bonnie and Clyde thing is pretty interesting. It's a pretty good way for them to take it. Uh, if, as for whether or not there'll be a third protagonist like you say there is. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure. Because I, 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 I think I might have missed that part when I was looking at the footage. Yeah. But again, again, it is hard to tell. Because again, keep in mind, this is an early build. And who knows what may have changed by now. You know what would you be know? interesting? If they do try tagonists, a three, uh, a third protagonist, but this one's from like an opposing side, maybe there's a big gang war going on, like Ooh. with cartels and stuff in on Miami, and you play as Lucia and Jason on one side, and on the other side you play as the other guy. That would be very interesting. I don't think they've I done mean, that in a GTA game before. They have they have they, they done that where you play on w one character on both sides of the coin? No, no. That if they did that, that'll be a first. Uh, it'll be maybe it could be also be like. Depending on the situation or the can or like the the mission you're doing, maybe a third character be joining you up for something, right? Yeah, maybe, and maybe an important character that you are able to control, you know, mm -hmm. have their special abilities too. It could be that too. And by the way, the character you're thinking of is called Little Jacob. Little Jacob, that's his name. I said Little yeah. John, like the freaking rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Little Jacob. Yeah, you remind yep. of Little Jacob a bit, a little older version, kind of kind of buffer version of him, because I think he was a bit short, Little Jacob. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of a short guy. Uh, yeah. so it could be that though so you know we'll see what happens um as soon as hopefully you know they'll announce something about the game you know maybe a trailer mm -hmm. or something yeah um, the next, in the next I, 10 years or something i hope not it's not Another 10 i feel years. like it's soon i feel like it's soon maybe a year or two maybe we'll get some news maybe sooner i think release date is coming in two years to be honest because it's two years because the grapevine they've said that um they've been working on the game since 2014 so if yeah. we put that put if we do the math here that would be eight years that was literally yeah. a year after GTA 5 was released. They started working on the next iteration, GTA 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I will, I will, I will throw out there maybe, and this is just a big maybe. Maybe we might get a reveal at the Game Awards. When when is the Game Awards? Uh, December. It's December. Yeah. I I don't know. It's a bit soon, isn't it? Yeah, but the Game Awards is oh, no. usually the Game Awards is always like the big event, the, the biggest game event of the year, it pretty much is at this point, uh, that we usually always get the biggest reveals and all that, to, as far as I know. I, I, the reason, a reason I doubt it's going to be at the Game Awards is because there's there's been rumors that their source code's been rele released as well, and that's going to definitely de delay the release date of the game. I think they're going to spend a lot of time literally fixing this 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 huge freaking uh, abyss that they've, they've fallen, them, fallen into. Especially from the yeah. leaks. They're doing a lot of damage control at the moment. So, all right, guys, let's move on to the next thing here. So, yeah. one thing I need to confirm for everyone and lock in straight away it is Vice City. 100%. It's confirmed. It is. This, oh, okay. This, yeah, there's two instances that, that, that lock this in. First instance is VCPD written on the side of police cars that pop up. So, mm. when they went, so that diner scene that I was mentioning, right? I, I was observing yeah, yeah, the yeah. scene, though. I saw the police cars pull up and literally says right there VCPD, Port Jelhorn. Port Jelhorn, which I'll get to in a second what that is. Like the town that the you know the cops had a jurisdiction in. I'll get to that in a second mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, that's that's one instance. The ex second instance is when Jason was uh, at a, a railway track and he was boarding a railway cart. On the side yeah. of the railway cart, it said Vice City. Oh, Simple. Okay. Me Vice City that. Metro. It literally says Vice City <laughs> Metro and not so so freaking writing, right? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that because it's like because I was telling him and you're like, it this has to be Vice City, because yeah. You know, I, I know we're not seeing the actual city, though, but it could be, like, uh, like out of the 
out of the city, right? You know, yeah. just like because you know, Vice City is, is like similar to Florida, right? Mm-hmm. And Florida has like those type of areas too, so yeah, it, it makes sense, right? As soon as so, I saw the colors, like I saw the purple, I saw the flashing neon lights. I'm like, this has to be Vice City, man. I just yeah, got that. Yeah. I got that vibe straight away, honestly. Yeah. So another so, thing also is um, when the uh, police cars were driving, uh, like I said, this Port Jellhorn written on the side. Now, this people actually uh, uh, looked this up on the internet. It actually points to like a kind of like a, a city along the beach or something. So mm. why 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 I predict from this is that police cars, uh, police have j- different jurisdictions. So that indicates that there's there's more cities. It's not just it's not just the the main town in Vice City. I think there's towns outside of that as well. So there's yeah. pleas from diff- different sections of the of the um, I don't know state if you want to call it that have different jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah. That's what I that's that's what I thought about that. What do you guys think? I mean, Port Jelhorn, right? And then there's like Vice City, the main city, Port Jelhorn. Maybe there's another town because we had speculation in uh, our previous videos that maybe they might add more cities along the make- way to make the map freaking huge. Yeah, I don't. I like. I don't see why we won't, they won't do it. It's yeah. like it's it's similar to GTA Five. Like it's not it's, it's not just San Andreas, but like outside of San Andreas, like a lot you mean of the, Sa- uh, you mean Los Los Santos. Oh, sorry, Los Santos. Yeah, yeah. San Andreas is like the San like, Andreas. The other game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. I mean, it's basically yeah. a take on San Andreas. It basically is. Yeah, which is Los Angeles, right? Yeah, so. yeah. It is. Yeah. So yeah, I I don't see why not. I, I'm I sure mean, they're gonna have areas like that. The practicality of it is like. You know, obviously having it, you know, something like what No Man's Sky did, right? With, uh, you know, how the memory is stored. You know, like you have, you have like, you have huge, uh, uh, memory stored in like chunks. I think is how they do it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm not sure how they do that that AI system in No Man's Sky. But you know, like they can, I, you can generate a freaking walls upon walls upon walls with that kind of algorithm. I'm sure they have something proprietary for GTA uh, Vice City for that as well. Six, possibly. It I, I doubt it uh, unless something with the graphics maybe I could see it there because I know be, uh, they uh, talked about that right that sort yeah. of things yeah um I don't know I don't think that's really the case um well but, if they're gonna they can't like load all of that you know because <laughs> it's so, so it, much to load obviously right it's it's so much to load but it's it's too it's possible but it, I, I I don't know that's something I have to look into their engine and like and I'm not gonna do that so yeah. Um, but I would say though, the graphics do look pretty like the texturing and all that sort of thing. It yeah. looks pretty, really detailed. Like I was really, really happy with it. Like the world, yeah, yeah. you know, cause I did seen like the texture, like I saw like the sidewalk had gum, like gum on it, you know, stuck on the floor, like mm-hmm. similar to like a city, right? Yeah. You know, so it's, it's pretty realistic and it, uh, and it looked really nice, you know? Yeah, job, the graf- job, yes. the graphics were the graphics are honestly freaking incredible, man. Like for that, because yeah. everyone's talking about this game being from the 2019 build for a pre-alpha build, that is freaking solid. It yeah. looks it looked like it had ray tracing, honestly. Like I saw mm. rainfall, I saw dynamic weather systems. The shadowing was just so realistic; it was photorealistic. The the shops, the towns, the roads, like Ivan was saying, the freaking gum on the sidewalk, people's phones in their hands was so freaking realistic. I was looking at everything, right? It was just so freaking. It was so detailed. Yeah, like that uh, speculation we talk about them using photorealism from that um, like engine, right? That changes assets in real time. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't just just throw a filter on, right? Actually, like takes fil- take, takes the assets and puts them through kind of like this engine that kind of recreates this uh, the the graphics, right, for the game. If they mm-hmm. use that, uh, you know, it's it's very possible they could possibly use that, but they I did speculate that it could be a couple years off before that's possible. Whatever they're using, it looks great, honestly, man. Like. Mm-hmm. For 2019 build, that's that's fantastic, and this is yeah. and this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's gonna get so much even better than this because they, you know how they do. They polish. Rockstar is known for polishing up the games to make them look so freaking good. Yeah, unless, like, uh, unless it unless it's the GTA Definitive Edition. Oh yeah, that's oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah we don't, that's we don't a, talk about that. <laughs> that's yeah, that's that, that's one uh, one gaff that I'm pretty sure Rockstar just wants to throw underneath the rug. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, man. I honestly personally I haven't played it myself, but I've heard you know this is just I, freaking. I, yeah, limitless. I was gonna yeah. get that. Yeah, don't so get it, guys. It, it's 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 just a terrible port. I think you're better off getting the original. Um, because mm-hmm. the problem with like the text stream with the algorithm and all that, it 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 will fail. But the problem is, is like you're supposed to test it, right? Yeah. Make sure they uh, the algorithm did it right, right? And it didn't do it right. And yeah. That's why you have that issue. At least that's what from what I heard. So. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, one last thing to mention about the Vice City and possibility of more cities. Like, I was just looking at the the scope, and I was I was looking outside as much as I could, looking in the backgrounds when the camera was turned and stuff. 
it literally looks mm. freaking massive, man. There's a lot of four-way intersections, obviously, stuff like that. You know, it's like suburban areas and stuff like that. It's a mix of different things. Yeah, yeah. We didn't see... I didn't see too much of the Vice City itself in the city. But um, from what I did see, it do, the game definitely looks big. Like, he's driving on the, the motorway slash highway for, you know, for Americans, obviously, because I'm in the UK. And yeah. stuff in the distance, like there's trains going all the way in the far and back in the distance. The, the low distance is huge. It's it's it looks like a really big map. I think it's bigger than GTA Five, if I were to speculate. To be honest, hope, hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I think it is. I mean, if if there's not more cities, at least we have that to go by, right? The fact that the map itself at its base is bigger than GTA Five. So yeah, there's that to look forward to definitely. Uh, sure. so just wanted to say, uh, so Port Jelhorn, uh, just just pulling up this comment here as well. Someone made an interesting insight about what that about Port Jelhorn. I just googled it Jelhorn plus Florida and I found that Mar Martha Gellhorn or Jelhorn was the third wife of Ernest Hemingway and apparently they met in Key West in the 30s. So maybe Port Jelhorn is Rockstar's version of Key West in Florida. Mm, okay. Key West, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> There's definitely something Rockstar would do, man, to be honest. Yeah. Which 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 indicates to me maybe we got Key West and Vice City there, my boy. We got some oh. more cities in there. Yeah, more cities. Get multiple cities there, son. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm, I'm freaking hyped about this freaking game now. <laughs> yeah, we're hyping it more now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to play this game already, man. Honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, well you're going to have to wait a few more years. Oh, but screw you, Brian. <laughs> Hence, Brian's name, Brian the Prick. You guys see that right there? Brian the Prick? Yeah, that's why he's oh. named Brian the Prick. <laughs> for that reason. <laughs> Brian, you look like a freaking, like, uh, a crimson moon with that freaking uh, profile picture just sitting in that black space, like the night sky. It's kind of freaking a circle there of the of, of, of your like reddish kind of profile picture there. You look like a freaking moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, another thing to talk about, obviously, the AI. Yeah, the AI is definitely a lot more smart, man. Going back to that Dyna scene, there's a lot of stuff you can do. This ties into the gameplay mechanics as well, but you can... Uh, obviously, in GTA Five, we can do holdups. You can, you know, tell them put the money in the freaking cash register, or freaking shoot you in the face and stuff like that, right? You can rob yeah, them yeah. straight, straight rob them. Literally, just take money off them straight. It doesn't have to be from a cash register. You can go up to someone, just rob them straight. You can intimidate them. You can threaten them. You even if you if you do crazy stuff like you shoot one of them in the head because one of the uh, they were playing one of the developers was playing as Lucia and she sh shot one of the um, pedestrians in the face. And like, there's like this huge kind of sequence that triggers where where the she says, yeah, if you do, if you don't listen to comply what I have to say, then you're gonna end up like this guy, you know. And that kind yeah. of it made everyone in the entire room kind of threatened. So that's that's a, that's something new, that's something dynamic and interesting, very immersive. I hope I'm thinking, yeah. I'm, go ahead. I'm thinking. I, I was gonna say I was thinking like it's probably gonna be very similar in terms of like how detailed they want to get to, like uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Like that game is insanely detailed. Like they mm -hmm. even. Like the uh, like the freaking uh, horse poop and all that and yeah <laughs> and how people are attracted with you and you can talk to them as well. Yeah. Why is uh, why, uh, why is horse poop the first thing you have to bring up? <laughs> uh, I, I was actually thinking something more nasty here about the balls of the of the horse. Oh <laughs> you bring that up. You know what I was thinking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> there's there's one part where you you kill some you kill some guy in in a freaking town and then like this woman comes up to you and says. Yo, do you remember me? Like you killed my son or something like that. Like this, you guys know oh, what I'm yeah. talking about, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That that's freaking crazy. Like, how am I supposed to pay for this and that? Like, you know, he's with my son. You killed my son. I'm like, oh, bro, I don't know who the hell you're talking about, man. Who did I kill? <laughs> I killed so many I people kill, on the freaking road. Somebody. Like, you have to give me like a, something specific here, right? They all look yeah, the same. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like if they do, I think Rockstar's known to do freaking uh, um, immersive stuff like that as well. So I hope this game has a lot of quality of life stuff like that. Honestly, yeah. I mm -hmm. I please. Give me a game where I can just chill. I can go up to a freaking bench on in the city and just sit down and observe the city. Can I? Can I do that, please, man? Because I just love, uh, um, I love games that have such freaking op huge open worlds and it's so immersive. I literally just want to sit in the freaking in the city and just take it all in. I love doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah and see what the people are doing. Like if yeah. they can do that sort of thing, like you know, people have their everyday lives, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how if they can go such details with the like because I I get like the towns are like a lot a lot more a lot more smaller scale, mm -hmm. you know, so they can be more detailed, but you know, make it and as well as realistic. But for a city, can they do that? I don't know. Excuse me, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I mean, mean I, I I can see they can they can, but yeah, freaking a, a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, it has been eight years, man, and they still got another three. Judging, yeah, uh, judging by. Sorry, another... Th yeah, probably three, I would say, because of this leak, and that's probably going to be three. I mean, I estimate that this leak's probably put them freaking back, like, probably a year, man, honestly. It's, yeah, I, I mean, mean... It's a pretty major leak, so... 
Yeah. Yeah. So far, what I saw in the league is pretty impressive so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess we can go back to the AI stuff again more. Um, uh, the, the other thing I would like to add though too is like when the, uh, like the cops, right? Mm-hmm. I, I noticed is like the cops were just waiting outside. They didn't just start storming like GTA Five, right? When when you make when you do something illegal, they just start start storming in, start shooting the place, right? Yeah. They don't care. But I, I noticed is like the cops were just waiting outside for, and it looked like they're waiting for backup. I don't know how extensive they're gonna go for their AI. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I did notice that. Yeah. They're gonna actually yeah. like they're like pushed outside, like actually like uh, have a game plan. They're like just don't bust in there, just freaking yeah, you know, get shot by by the, the protagonist wearing freaking M16s or something, right? Yeah, because yeah. re- realistically, right, the cops will show up, right, and they're not gonna they're start storming up. in. It's, yeah, they're, they're they're park st- up and get like the the weapons ready, right? Yeah, they're not gonna start storming in unless you start shooting hostages. You know, then I I imagine yeah, realistic shot cops will just start running in there, and start shooting you because you you're already. You already took it something else, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, they used to do that in previous GTA games. Literally, they, they pull up. You get your star rating. You wanted star rating. They literally just... If you're in a diner, you could be sitting in the back, like, freaking shooting 10 people, like, blind, blindfolded, and they just come up to you just say, Hey, what are you doing? Then you just get... They just shoot them in the face and die, right? Yeah, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if, like, you know, since it's a hostage situation, right? I don't know if they're, like, either convincing you or whatever, or they're just waiting for the, the SWAT to come in, right? Yeah. And so you know, it's, it, you yeah. know, it's interesting. If they have that as well, that would be interesting. But you can actually restrain them. You can restrain yeah. hostages. You can actually tie them up. <laughs> that's yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Like if maybe that you know what that sounds like to me. That sounds like to me that if if uh, this there might be some kind of system in the game where one of the pedestrians makes a run for it and maybe he can alert like alert someone outside and that triggers your wanted rating mm. or something along those lines where like if they escape some something happens to you you know something bad happens to you like maybe yeah. the the you, the only thing I can take away from that is that you you get wanted start straight away. Yeah, yeah. Because I hope they make that more dynamic. I hope it's like you just yeah. shoot some guy in the face, and all of a sudden the, the police just start calling on the radio or like freaking satellite from from deep space homing in on your signal, saying that oh this guy killed this guy here at this particular time, so let's call the cops, right? No, mm. some pedestrian runs out, realistically gets on his phone and dials nine one one. That is freaking gonna be sick if they do that. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe yeah. they don't they don't start shooting you out of the way uh, like all, all of a sudden like if you're like. Like, let's say you just start beating up people, right? And they ask you to get down or, or surrender, that sort of thing, and you don't, yeah. and they'll, re- you know, and you start running, they'll start running at you. But if you, as, if, but as, as suddenly, if you pull out a gun or something, they'll, then they'll start shooting at you, right? Yeah. You know, they be, like they try to come at you with pepper spray tasers first. Yeah, yeah. But if they see that you're armed, then they, they get the guns out. They start getting their guns out, like, yeah. hey, hey, put your gun down, you know? And then yeah. if you start pointing the gun at them, then they start blasting you right there, like, yeah. make it more dynamic if they can. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past them. This, based on Red Dead Redemption Two, which is so freaking like detailed, if they did something mm. like that, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're we're hyping your game now. <laughs> yeah. You know, Rockstar. So please don't <laughs> cancel us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is li- literally pure speculation. <laughs> the other thing that stuck out to me, which is really cool, if you're a huge fan of Far Cry and Six Predator, you love this one as well. The hovercraft. It's a hovercraft. Yeah. <laughs> which sounds pretty sick. A vehicle so we, can... we can t- finally take on land and water at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, it's like a, it's like one of those like kind of golf cart things which got a huge fan behind it in the back. Yeah. And you yeah. can just like kind of drive it around. That's that's actually really cool. I saw. Yeah, I wonder, yeah, I wonder how the feel's gonna be for that. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be slippery everywhere. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't be worried honestly, man, because if there's one thing that Rockstar's nailed for uh, the GTA games is driving. It's so realistic. The the physics I've always loved the driving in, in Grand Theft Auto man it's so realistic honestly it's so like the physics oh, is yeah. top notch so so realistic murder when you can I, just yeah. drive through red lights and run people over run <laughs> down lights and just crash into other hey, cars I said and the, just keep driving I said the physics are realistic not the freaking the the world <laughs> the, the world. game world <laughs> yeah cops don't really just start splashing you like suddenly at GTA yeah. like GTA five <laughs> yeah. Brian, if you if you got caught like for like minor traffic freaking infractions like that, you won't be able to play the freaking game. You want you you run one red light and cops are like behind you. <laughs> I actually the Mafia series done does that though. Really? <laughs> yeah, at least one. I think one is the most realistic, but then two they kind of chill out on that because people are like, ah, you run okay. a red light and cops are after you. Are you serious, freaking? No, that's like a, that's like the that's yeah. devastating for people that just want to hang out in the freaking open uh, world. I think Mafia Two, at the very least, they'll like if you speed, the cops will, will will pull you over. But luckily, you can just pay the ticket; they'll just pull you over and 
and they could just come in your window and like, all right, you got to pay this ticket, and then you just pay it and like, all pay right, pay the ticket. Gonna... They'll never take me alive, boy. <laughs> you can I'll do that just, if you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a freaking uh, make a run for it. Yeah, theoretically <laughs> speaking, in the car. So I wonder, I wonder if GTA will do that, but would people get annoyed by that? I think they'll get me... annoyed. I don't think they're gonna do that. To be honest, you I know, sincerely doubt it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you like that or like, nah, that's stupid. I mean, sometimes you get so bored. Mind you, you get so bored in Grand Theft Auto that literally you just start playing by the rules. You just start driving in traffic like a normal person. Don't have a freaking, don't act like you got freaking 20 guns in your pocket. And a freaking tried, RPG with like a combat yeah. vest and knives <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I tried driving normally. And it's like, it's boring. I just drive off like after this. I mean, GTA 4 is just traffic. To be fair, GTA 4 is literally all just city. And that's all you yeah. do. You just drive around everywhere. And that's yeah. All. Literally, it gets so I get bored sometimes in that game where I just all that's, that's all I do. But GTA Four is OG. Got nothing bad to say about GTA Four. Yeah, yeah. It's a great game. Fantastic game. I I guess the other thing I noticed in the uh when in that uh video with the first person, all that is like mm -hmm. you you get to adjust. It looked like you get to adjust like the seats and the and the mirrors and all that, but I don't think that's it. I don't think they're gonna go that crazy. Yeah. Uh. There's there's a gameplay footage where um. Developers Always. are kind of messing around with like the the actual car itself, the, the reclining the seat, adjusting the the mirrors, adjusting the gearbox and the pedals and stuff like that. I honestly think it's just an, an asset kind of uh, customizer, and they're just testing the animations, like the characters interacting with like the pedals and and the, the gearbox and the mirrors and stuff. Because I don't think customization of that detail really, it, it it really has any value to it in in the practical gaming experience. Like what what are you gonna do with with rolling the windows down, right? Unless you're in first person view and you got tinted windows or something, yeah. but what are you gonna do with reclining your seat? You're not, you're not, are you, you're not sitting in the game, are you? You're not gonna be able to experience what that feels like, right? <laughs> Just one thing I want to mention is uh, when yeah. you sit in the passenger seat, when you, you know, you guys remember how if you pull your gun out and you try to shoot like people behind you in front of you, it goes outside mm. the car and it's like third person view, right? Well, this yeah, yeah. In, what I noticed is in gameplay footage, you sit in the passenger seat, and I think I'm not sure if you switched to first person view or not. Actually, no, it wasn't first person view. So over the shoulder view inside the car, shooting. So mm. like basically, you can turn around in the back seat, start popping people behind the in in the, the yeah. rear view mirror, rear, uh, rear windshield. So you can yeah, shoot yeah. literally because I, I love that feature, man. If they add that in that game, because I've always wanted to be in real time where I'm in the car. It's a crazy freaking chase scene. There's literally a car right on our six, and you can just pop, like turn around, and just shoot the guy in the driver's seat. It, I, it makes it, it makes it a very ex immersive experience. So you're talking about rolling the windows down, right? Without yeah. breaking them, because you know if, if you guys remember GTA, if you want to shoot outside the window, what was the first thing you do? You pull your elbow out like freaking Muay Thai and just smash the freaking window down, right? <laughs> so they just smash the window and put put your gun out the window. Maybe I mean, if you want, if they added that in the game, they could roll the windows down and you could stick your gun out and shoot them that way. Because over the shoulder of view of, for shooting inside, like in a passenger seat, that is a very sick addition. I've 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 always wanted that. It's crazy. It makes it more action and more cinematic. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it outside the car, like behind the car, where like you know you don't you're kind of disconnected from the characters and the experience. You're just kind of you know a floating camera, <laughs> yeah. following the cars that are going down. It's just nah, I don't like that. I'd rather be in the car where the action is. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, the speculation about the it could be a very well be an asset editor. It, it could they call it possibly could be using some realistic quality of life features in the game. Maybe they. I'm sure there's some if they, if that's not in the game. I'm sure there is some crazy car customization definitely because you guys remember how good the car customization was in GTA V. I think it's going to be even better in this game. In mm. GTA 6, more stuff to do. Yeah. I hope they maybe, get on the scale yeah. like freaking need, need for Speed Underground or something. You can just do some really crazy hacks and stuff on your car, right? That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Brian, All what's right. your take on that? Any any thoughts? Uh, it's, the little, it's the little things, you know? Like, just, just a lot of the smallest details. And I appreciate that when, like, companies and developers put in the extra work just on even the smallest details like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Quality of life features is so awesome, man. They're just so immersive about a game. Again, I don't know how many times it's like beating a dead horse at this point, but like Cyberpunk, we needed that in the game, man. I I looked so... F I, I just love just, just sitting down and just immersing myself in a game. Like literally just... GTA 5, you can do that. You can go to like... Go play golf with friends if you want to. Go hang out at like a freaking club or something. Or go to the movies. Club. No, not a strip club. Man. I mean, freaking hell, what's wrong with you? Oh, all right. We're not Sorry. those type of people, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a whole, just a whole variety of mini games. Those are always fun. Yeah, yeah, give us more stuff to do. Like up the ante. Don't be afraid to to do like you know new stuff like that, and keep adding to it. Because you can make that. You can stretch that game out. Freaking like you milk the shit out. Of freaking GTA Five. 
you can probably milk this game to kingdom come as well but people the thing is people are going to still keep playing this because it just it's just so good it's literally like the generation standard of you know this next generation yeah i'll say like they got to do it right like the first time now i'm just kind of curious about the multiplayer they're going to transfer all this like people are just going to move on to the new gta right so yeah and i know they milked the hell out of that the online all those shot cards and currencies and stuff that you spent i don't think it's going to be transferred bro i mean it'll be interesting if like your GTA Online character is like transferred onto the next game, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, so I got Somehow. rich in this game. Here I am. Here's my here's part two of my life. I'm still living in that same mansion I was living in too, but I just moved to Vice City." Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know, man. Like, imagine because the worst thing that will happen is like they transfer. Well, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I'll be curious they, how they're they gonna do GTA they Online. They'll, how to make it fair? Yeah, you'll be starting completely from scratch on, on this game's only guaranteed. Yeah. I just feel like that's not their mo though with with uh, GTA or with Set Rockstar. I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong though. Like I hope mm -hmm. I'm wrong though, because I I think I I want to just move something new, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't I don't want them to go back, and it's like I I don't know. But we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. it's all pure speculation at this point, man. We don't know because because obviously the whole GTA Online was just like a completely new business model they introduced with this generation. Like it's a separate yeah. thing from GTA. It came out late, yeah. later, later on. So yeah, yeah. how they're doing, I don't know. It's it, your guess is as good as mine, as good as Brian's. We just we just have to wait and see, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I know. I know they didn't do so well on that uh, Red Dead Two online. I, I, I that just, is a I shame. Just, That's a shame, man. I Cause... I hear nothing about it. I'm like, is it really that bad? Like people are not talking about it. All they talk about is Red Dead Two, like single player story. It's amazing. as ever. And then, and then when when we talk talk about like uh, online of Red Dead Two, it's like. It's just crickets, you know. I don't hear nothing. Yeah. If you think about it, there isn't yeah. much to do, really, man. Like, the game is it is all about the story. Like, the Wild West, if you think about it at face value, it's just boring. What is it? Like, a I bunch mean, of freaking horses and people not using toothpaste, my, right? That's my horse, man. You gotta pimp up my horse. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I mean, the only thing you got going in that whole freaking game is you and your horse. That's it. Like, or, but GTA, like, if you compare that to GTA... Outside of the story, this you can do so much else. That's true. You don't have yeah. to do any quests. You can literally just just drive around the city, take everything I, I, in. Like Red Dead Redemption Two, if you're a nature lover, you're gonna have lots of fun with it, obviously, because there's so many you know, greens I, and like uh, you know settings and stuff that I see. But it does it does wind itself down at some point. Yeah, I, I I understand the challenge of this of designing an online for for Red Dead Two, mm -hmm. um, but. I think they can still do it. I I think they have to have somewhere there, but I haven't played it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know either because I didn't play it either because I think they... originally I did get the damn game so that we could all play online, but you guys never got it. Just like you never got my, just like you, man. I never got Dead Space Three. Brian, are you gonna take this like argument to your grave? How how many times have you discussed <laughs> this? Freaking I'm hell! I'm gonna take that to my You've grave. You've been saying it for like ten years now. <laughs> I think freaking she's hell. Playing for <laughs> play with it. But it doesn't work though. We try, <laughs> Brian. You can't even say that I didn't try. I tried. Oh, no, I, no. I got no. the game, and it the online wouldn't work. They shut the servers oh, down. No, they did not because I played it online with a friend a while back. I tried it. It didn't work. Well, you're full of shit then. Well, no, I did, I tried it. It didn't freaking work. But what do you want me to do? Prior to your live, we have. Drama. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> We, we do, we're nothing about authenticity at freaking private to broadcast, right? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> we just bring our drama, like yeah, to, air out our freaking, uh, freaking air out the, yeah, air, air out our problems. <laughs> like... Hey, look, I get this though. The, the Dead Space remake is lit. The gameplay has been released. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but that game, I'm gonna play the hell out of that game when it comes out, man. Same yeah. here. Demo's out. If you guys want to check that out, by the way. Wait, it's, it's wait, what? 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 What is out again? Dead Space remake. Oh, really? Dem what? Demo. Demo. Know. Demos out, yeah. Really? I didn't know how did I know this? Yeah. I'll just say I hope you guys liked our take on GTA six. Yeah, uh please continue to, to uh uh you know show some love to, to Rockstar's game developers. Uh they worked hard on this game, you know, show love and not hate, man, because it's all on hate. Yeah. I mean <laughs> they, these guys they have they have worked hard in this game, it looks nice, man. I got you know my hats off to them for sure, definitely. So No, yeah, yeah. Like I I mean fuck corporate though, right? Screw them. Yeah, screw yeah. corporate, but the developers, you guys are the real heroes, man. We're 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 always gonna say that, you know. Yeah. Um but other than that, yeah, sorry that it happened, but you know, I hope like at least the positivity. I I, I don't see anything negative people are saying about the the that that got leaked, you know. 
Yeah, so. no one, no one said anything bad about this game. The, 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 the consensus is positive. Every, everyone's yeah. been saying it, it looks great. I mean, you find yeah. like one negative so. Nancy who freaking didn't get his lunch on time or his Starbucks coffee on, on freaking time, and he's gonna say, "Oh, yeah. you know, it's crap," even though it's a pre-alpha build, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. no yeah. one's holding that against you. Don't you know? Don't have to hold your breath or anything like that. Everyone's the the spotlight is on you, Rockstar. Get this game out, get it polished, and and we can't wait to play it and try it out, right? Yep. Yep. So all right, and that's it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed our take on GTA Six. Uh, freaking, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Take yep. care. <laughs> All right, guys. Two captains signing off, and Mr. Brian signing off. We'll see you next Peace. time. Good night. Take care, everyone. Bye.